There's no question about it. The 49ers suck. Uh, despite the weight of 23 million new fans cheering them on from Australia and then losing interest mid-season when Jared Hayne was dropped, the 49ers went 5-11 and this season, and that is not good. Now they're well within field goal range. They sacked their coach, Jim Tom Sula, right after the last game, despite an overtime win, and have now welcomed Chip Kelly, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles, and then later of Centrelink. We snuck over to San Fran to film the press conference. Let's break it down. Chip started with a little monologue. Chip? It's really humbling to, to stand here as the 19th head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, to me, the preeminent organization in the National Football League. Yeah, now... I bet last year the Eagles were the best. Classic chip lip service. Chip lip service. Sorry, sorry. Continue. There's always been a statement I always thought about is that we can see farther today because of the shoulders that we stand on of the people that came before us. Quick, everyone, write that down. If you're into incredibly long and convoluted mottos, which I am. Old Chipper then sat and answered some questions like, why was he naked when he signed? No, actually, uh, I was offered the job last Thursday afternoon. I had no clothes. Uh, Trent had visited me with Jed, and uh, when I was in New Hampshire, they asked me to come back out, and you know, I asked him kind of what's the deal, and he said just jump on a plane. So I did. Wow, uh, chips nips on plane trips, aggressive. Old fish and chips was also asked to come up with a stupid NFL buzz term and to use it in an answer several times. It was like a, a word game, and he went with self scout which actually means trying to work out how I stuffed up so bad at Philly. If you're a coach after every game, you self-scout after every season. Um, you self-scout, you know, what we did well, what we did poorly, how can we improve as a, as a team? And I was in the process of that. And really, I don't, I don't think it was a self-scout to me, probably because I got fired. I looked at it more of an autopsy. Um, <laughs> Ooh, first joke from Chipper. Nice. So regarding Hayne, that's what we all want to know about. The good news is that Tom Rathman, the running backs coach who turned Jared into an NFL player of sorts, will be there next season, so there's hope. The, the only one right now that I could tell you is here is Tom Rathman. Um, you know, I think the history and tradition uh, in speaking with Tom and then also understanding that I think Tom's the best running back coach in, in the National Football League, it was very important for me to keep Tom here. Apart from that, he didn't say much about the players and really zero about Hayne, despite what the rest of the internet's headlines will tell you. Now, to wrap this up, Slight conspiracy theory, granted. Chip's big on sports science and he's trying to play it down. Has anyone seen Stephen Dank lately? Just saying. Um, and I also think the narrative of the sports science thing uh, probably got blown out of proportion. We're, we're just trying to prepare our players so they can be the best they can on game day. So was Essendon, Chip. So was Essendon.